Hey everybody, welcome to Embracing Mattress. This is Renee. This is going to be uh, the weekly reading for the sign of Leo. Thank you to everyone that has uh, liked, shared, and subscribed to my page. I really appreciate you. Thanks for taking the time to look at the videos. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of things going on out here. Uh, where all of us in the collective are feeling a lot of the same things. I notice um, a lot of it doesn't feel good. Um, you know, Spirit is calling for us all to just push through and be as strong as we can, you know, through it all. If that's a thing, yeah, right? So, basically, let's get started. Um Take what resonates, what doesn't, leave it. You know, it may not be for you. It may be for another Leo. That's fine. Um, also, like I said, this will be for the week of the 9th through the 15th. One more shuffle. not doing any personal readings right now but I will let you guys know when I'm open for doing that right now my work schedule is way too busy um gonna be trying to open that up within a month or so okay this is for the sign of Leo for the week of the 9th February 9th through February 15th please spirit Leo, February 9th through the 15th. Leo, February 9th through the 15th. Hold on a minute, nothing's coming out. Let me say a prayer. Okay, Leo, February 9th through the 15th, please, Spirit. Thank you. All right, you have Hathor, receptivity, and Maeve, cycles and rhythms. So for Hathor, allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. And cycles and rhythms. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. So right off the bat, Leo, this tells me. If you're a woman, you may be going through some menstrual issues. Um, some type of maybe heavy bleeding, stuff of that nature. Um, emotions are going up and down. You may be very moody. Um, just pay attention to what's going on with the moon at the time. The energy may be low. Um, this may be a time when you need to, you know, pump some energy music into your ear, some frequency music, you know, 528 or something of that nature. Um, 963. Um... You may be having a problem with taking help from other people. Or people may be trying to offer you help at this time based on the fact that they see that you are in need of help or you're just struggling, you know, to uh, stay healthy at this time. Allowing yourself to open up when you're so strong leo i know as a fire sign i'm a fire sign i know that we um all all of the signs i'm not saying that we're the only ones that are like this but leo is really the sign of strength so when it comes to 
taking things from other people. This would be something that you just don't want to do. You'd rather try to handle it yourself. But Spirit is here to tell you that it is okay for you to be open to receiving from other people because those people do actually care about you and your well-being. Okay? Believe me, I know how hard it is to take from other people. I go through the same thing. Now, the message with this card is you have a maternal side to you that naturally cares for those in need. Yet this must be balanced with receptivity or the flow is blocked. Receiving is the essence of feminine energy. And it, it means allowing yourself to, to receive with grace and gratitude. If you feel guilty when asking others for help, or if you feel bad about receiving gifts, then you block your feminine energy. Your receptivity is just as natural as your nurturing, giving energy. Receptivity allows you to better hear the voices of the angels. When you receive, you have more resources to give others. Begin by noticing the hundreds of gifts you receive each day. Whether it's seeing beauty in nature, witnessing a touching human moment, or being hugged by a loved one. Simply say thank you for each gift and know that they're filling up your storehouse, keeping the divine flow going strong, right? So Spirit is telling you to be still and listen, okay? They're talking to you now, okay? They're trying to give you some direction. You know, you need to ask for help, all right? Um, just know that as we all are, you are in a learning cycle right now. So things may happen that you don't quite understand, but this is when you're being called to go within and ask spirit for assistance, okay? With the feminine energies, like I was saying before, okay? Um, childbirth, pregnancy, stuff like that, adoption, anything having to do with, with um, children may be going on right now as well. Um, and that could be a big part about your receptivity. You may need help with your children. And, you know, as parents, this could be anything as simple as someone watching your child for you, picking up from, from the bus, something of that nature. You being open to allowing someone to genuinely be kind to you for once. Okay? Now, when it comes to Mave Cycles and Rhythms, okay, all of life is is like the moon, the stars, and the universe. Life inhales and then exhales again. So why would you be surprised or upset that you have to have cycles? There are times when you feel energized, awake, and alive. There are other times when you feel isolated and shy. Your body, too, goes through pronounced cycles and changes. Celebrate these rhythms and embrace them as the essence of the lifeblood that courses through you. Again, with the, with the gynecological uh, changes and issues that you may be going through, women, um, but this, this spread can be for masculine or feminine energy, so you take it how it resonates. It can go either way. This could be for the person that you're thinking about or you. So in, in, in tune, you know, son, I don't want the men feeling some sort of way if they're watching or being a cross watcher or something. Um, you're being called to have some rest, okay? Um, if you're feeling depressed and, and exhausted or overly emotional, you know, you need to take better care of yourself at this time. Do everything in your power to regenerate yourself, okay? Um, if something's going on that you need to grieve, okay, if there's been some sort of loss, um, uh, at, uh, of maybe a life in your life or, or, you know, maybe you lost a person, my condolences, but if this is something like a relationship or, or something of that nature that you need to mourn, you need to take your time and go through that as well. Okay. You just need to go through the cycles and rhythms, um, that your body is putting you through right now and, uh, make sure that you are utilizing spirit um to go within and get the information that you need we're going to clarify receptivity for leo for february 
9th through the 15th, please. Receptivity, hello, yeah. What is this regarding, Spirit? What's going on with my Leos? Okay, you're working diligently on either a craft, a job, or on a relationship. And this is a relationship spread, so I'm going to say that you're working hard on a relationship. And you are taking a leap of faith um, regarding said relationship. Let's see what's going on. Ooh, okay. We have the devil card. Mm, a codependent relationship. Okay, so these three cards, okay, just let me pause right here and show you what I'm seeing. With the Eight of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Devil, this tells me that you're working diligently, okay, to try and break yourself free of a codependent relationship. Um, one that has you in your feelings a lot, maybe it's caused a lot of confusion and, and, and hurt and pain, and one that you... You know, you feel bound to. You feel like, you know, it's very hard to get away from. There could be some codependent things going on in this relationship. Drugs, alcohol, overeating, stuff of that nature. Yeah, it could be a reason why. These cards came out. Maybe you're not feeling that in this relationship that you're the one that is actually doing all the work, Leo. Based on the receptivity, okay? And you are going through the motions in your head trying to figure out, you know, what is the best thing for you to do regarding this situation. That's what I'm seeing. You're pondering in your head and working away at possibly taking a leap of faith away from this energy that has you emotional right now. Uh, cycles and Rhythms, Spirit for Leo. Cycles and rhythms. Okay. Queen of Cups. There's that emotion again. Hmm. Seems that you are emotional over a fire sign. A fire sign or a water sign. One of these two relationships could be one where you're not receiving receptivity and you're trying to decide which one of these relationships you're going to go to. Clarify the devil. Oh, okay. Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. The devil card here is coming up, Leo. I asked to clarify the devil card. Right? So that so these two cards here, the two of pentacles and the ten of swords, are that you were being juggled, or maybe you were juggling someone, and this has caused the completion of one of these two relationships. Okay, so let's just recap. 
you're working hard um, and trying, you know, you're in your thoughts and your mind um, about how you have not received the things that you wanted to receive in this relationship or you weren't able to give the things that a relationship required with this receptivity card, okay? So you're thinking of making some changes and possibly ending something that you or either the other person has been obsessed with for some time, okay? Now, emotionally, okay, there's a Queen of Cups and a Six of Wands on your mind. Now, I see the Six of Wands definitely as a person that's a fire sign, okay? And this person that's a fire sign Could be coming at you with some good news of some nature. Or maybe you're trying to come at this fire sign with the news that you're ending this situation and you're coming towards them. But you're still in your feelings about it. You're still trying to figure out what you would like to do. Okay, let's choose um, you a crystal angel, oracle, and let's see what they are trying to tell you today. Let's see what spirit wants you to know regarding your situation, Leo. So Leo, any other messages? Oh, okay. Okay. Life lessons. Perido. You can break free from reoccurring negative patterns by praying to know the lessons and blessings they contain. Reoccurring negative patterns. Okay. This is this relationship that you've been in that you um, keep holding on to. And you're now contemplating letting go. Busy times and multitasking. Take charge of your schedule during this busy time. And honestly assess your underlying reasons for being busy. Are you staying busy so that you can avoid the situation and avoid making a decision, Leos? And La Peace Lazuli. Oh, I'm sorry. That was calcite. La Peace Lazuli. Life-changing epiphany or experience. It's a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. This is why you're being called to go within. To help. Get some help with making this decision that you're pondering. Okay, Leo, my Leos, my fellow fire signs, this has been your message for the 9th through the 15th. Take care.